Okay, I'm in Mastercam. I always start right here with, by selecting my machine type, router, techno servo. That brings up my property manager. I need to set up my stock. Remember my stock was 12 inches in the X direction and nine in the Y, the thickness of 0.54. You have to check that with the caliper. That has to be pretty accurate. Then also I'm gonna put my bit in my lower left corner on the top of the stock. F9 gives me my Cartesian crosshairs. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create my coasters by creating a rectangle. I'm going to just snap in the lower left-hand corner, drag it up. I'm going to make these three inches by three inches, snap in the first quadrant. And then this up here is fit screen. Now that I've created one of these, I'm just going to um, drag it. So I'm going to go X form, drag select it i'm done selecting it this right here would copy it and this is just move it so i want to copy it over to here put them apart a little bit i'm done the operation i'll do that one more time drag done selecting there are going to be three four i'm going to put a fifth one here so x form drag this time yeah, I'll put it right there so there are my five coasters this is clear colors I think these are too close to the sides so I'm gonna just drag these without a copy so I'm gonna drag done selecting but instead of copy it's just move and I'm gonna bring these up I'm gonna cut this out with a quarter inch bit so I got to remember um, to have enough room between all of them. That's fit screen. This is going to be the tray or pocket that I'm cutting them out of. So here I'm going to go create rectangle. And then this rectangle here is, I'm going to make it about uh, 50 thousandths over the size of it. So in the Y direction, I'm going to go point or 3.05. It's about 50 thousandths bigger for them to fit. And then I have five coasters that are 0.54 thick. So 0.54 times six is 2.6 plus a little bit of extra room. So I'm gonna go 2.75. So that's the pocket that they're getting cut out of. And I'm not gonna outline it at all. All I'm gonna do is cut these out. And then when I'm done, I use traditional tools to make the square. I do want it centered up as much as possible. So first thing I'm going to do is tool path the pocket, tool path, pocket, I name it. I'm going to select this. I'm done selecting it. I'm going to use a quarter inch, quarter inch flat end bit. And I think my feed rate is 150 will work well here. I'll work my way down here, cut parameters, depth of cut, this is important. I want to set it less than the diameter of the bit, like 0.25. And linking parameters, these are all absolute, but this is a negative 0.54, the thickness of the board. My pocket goes first while the whole thing's fastened down. Next thing I'm going to do is cut out these contours. I'm going to do it all in one pass. Uh, I'm going to do it with the chain. I'm going to go counterclock. I'm not sure what happened there. Pull path, contour, chain selected, going counterclockwise on all of these. So I need to remember that, that I'm going counterclockwise on all of them. Again, my tool is a quarter inch straight bit, and my feed rate. I'm going to go 100, half of that for my plunge rate of 50. And then this is important here. I'm going counterclockwise. So right here, as a bit would be on the inside, I actually want it on the outside. So as I go counterclockwise, the bit's on the outside. That's really important. Depth of cut. Again, if I don't set this, I'll break a bit. I'll set this to 0.25. 
lead in, lead out. I'm going to turn that off. Breakthrough, multi-passes, tabs. I am going to tab it, so I'm going to hit tabs. I'm going to do them automatically. Um, and then I'm really going to max distance between tabs is about, I'll go two inches. And down here, I'm going to make my tab a little bit thicker, like 0.06. It's 0.06. Hold that setting. So now I have my pocket toolpath and my things cut out. <coughs> this up here selects both. This is verify. I want to verify in the isometric view. I'm going to run it. There's a pocket getting cut. And the parts did not get cut out. So let me go back and look at what I did wrong. Here's my linking parameters. And my problem was I did not set this at a negative 0.54. So this is not negative 0.54. It's a dirty operation. This regenerates them all. Select them all. Let's verify again. An isometric view. That looks good. Okay, so I'm all done verifying it. My last step is I go file, save it as, and I save it in my folder. And then I post it by turning it into code. I have to do it to a flash drive, so I go out and run it. But in this case, I'm just going to do it onto the desktop. And then here's my numeric code. Uh, that the machine actually runs. So there's quite a few lines of code here. There's 855 lines of code. So I take that code out to the machine and then I run my coasters. There's my pocket, then I'm just gonna cut that out and that's gonna be the holder.